Yeah, Pekka comes down on the left-hand side from Lupanji, and looks like Pekka and Hog Rider will be uh, his deck. And Mega Minion gonna clear out the other Mega Minion. Beautiful freeze, though, as the Mega Minion continues to swipe down the Pekka of Lupanji. Very aggressive uh, attack here from Lupanji, applying a lot of pressure with that Mega Minion on top of the Pekka. Two big, heavy armored units on the ground and in the skies, but Wyatt shoots him down with some archers. You know, Quiet enjoys to travel, I've heard. He uh, finds uh, the province of Yunnan in, in China to be particularly tranquil and refreshing. His name actually does reflect his preference for, uh, you know, quiet combat, to, for very reflective thought. And so uh, maybe he might have a little bit of difficulty in this very loud arena, but I don't know. So far, he seems to be doing pretty well here. A little bit behind against Lupanji, though, in Chen. Yeah, just a little bit behind, and it looks like we're going to see that deck that Lupanji used to get him here, this Pekka Hog uh, Goblin Hut deck. You know, he loves the Goblin Hut, and like we said, it's one of the co new cards, you know, in the meta that's going to be huge, but a Tesla. Oh! Oh, wow! Got the lock onto the Electro Wizard, but the Zap forced the reset there. Still, though, Quiet playing extremely well on defense engineers that setup and uh, is able to take it down. You know, he's also an engineer by trade. That's his job. Uh, back in China. Oh, there it is. Hog Rider comes down right into an expo. The log as well. Is the expo oh. going to connect on the tower? Yes, it does. And this is so much damage coming in from Quiet. Tick, 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 as this tower is taking a ton of damage on the left hand side. Tick tock. The timer starts as Lupanji finds himself in a race. That's not going in his favor. Pekka to block this expo, but that was a major strike from Quiet out the left side. Lupanji likens himself to uh, a, a ridiculously offensive player. His name actually means wolf in French, uh, combined with the word Jumanji, because that's his favorite movie. The wolf himself, though, is getting uh, torn apart on this left side, already down to triple digits as the tower brought down by that menacing expo. Yeah, and Pekka once again soaks for the Expo, but he already has a Tesla. He can cycle back to another Tesla if he chooses to. Poison's gonna get a lot of value, but it's not gonna get enough with how much damage is on the tower already. Tesla Boat getting so much value on double duty there. Two Tesla set up to defend that Expo, but still not quite able to get the lock on. Lupanji with a lot of damage from the poison, quite reliable out to the left lane. He's actually got it down at 1294 and is looking for a, a sneaky attack here. Can't quite get it though as the Expo pulls that Hog Rider in. Negative uh, Elixir trade for Quiet, but he does have a nice setup against the Goblin Hut out back. That's how he's going to get value out of this. Yeah, the Goblin Hut continuing to get these Spear Goblins that are going to start, you know, ramping up. I mean, if you have to waste Elixir to defend that every single time, it's going to, you know, eventually turn into a very big problem. Pekka on the left-hand side. Can he get this Hog Rider to connect on the tower? It's going to be a Poison and a Hog. And let's see if he can, you know, maybe get some damage off on this left-hand side with this Hog. Wyatt is getting awfully close to being able to seal the deal on this game, though. Rolls another log through, and he's getting uh, pretty pretty near the finish line as he sets up another expo at the left side as Lupanji got a counter. Oh, that's not looking too good. Electro Wizard can't fully soak all the hits there. Finally gets to that Pekka, but there's going to be a defensive setup for Quiet for sure. Knight in the way. Can he get rid of that uh, Pekka? Oh, it goes down. Just Still, though, Quiet is getting very close to the spell cycle win. Two balls and a log will be able to finish that left side tower off. Quiet's awfully low as well, though, down to 494. Here comes the Hog Rider on the left-hand side with a poison, just trying to get some chip value off. Log comes in. Is the Hog going to hit the tower? No! And oh. another Expo B is still. Lupanji has turned this thing around, and he needs just one log to finish this off. But can he defend against this Expo? Mega Minion can't get the job done. Expo gets the lock. It's going down. Quiet has turned it around and won the first battle of this match. Oh, no. But Quiet was absolutely focused. He's got that poker face, and he was so laser, you know, you know, sighted onto that left side tower. There's nothing that could have stopped him in chat. Well, it looks like Lupanji's gonna throw out a barrel to start off this game, and six elixir has to be used on defense. Cannon card, so it looks like cannon card and goblin barrel going to be the deck of choice for Lupanji. Maybe a little interesting kind of bait style deck. Nice poison from Quiet there. I do like it a lot. Get some tower damage as well as preventing that cannon card from coming on in. But here's the dangerous part about the log bait deck. Splitting up his attack. He had the princess out the right and the goblin gang on the left. I think he's about to lose his cannon card, but it got decent value getting rid of both a princess and a knight. 
Hog Rider moving toward the left. There's nothing to pull him off the tower just yet. He's going to get one swing, two swings. Hog Rider! It's gets the a big hit in there. Oh no, hits three shots on the tower, and that is so much damage. Goblin Barrel comes off on the oh. left hand lane. He activates the king, but that goblin oh. on the left, that salty goblin getting a lot of damage. <laughs> what do we call him? Matt? That's Matt, yeah, the Matt, Matt the goblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt the goblin. Matt the goblin. Matt the salty goblin. <laughs> Oh, but Princess coming down. She's going to get one. Is she going to get off the second? Oh, yes. yes. Gets the second shot off. Nicely done. All right, Lupanji is still in this thing. Cannon Cart's duking it out on the left side of the arena. I think the red one's going to win here, but not worth a whole lot because once it goes down and uh, is stationary, it can't really defend very well, can it, Chad? No. I'd like to have like a card like a little barbarian just picks it up and just starts chugging with it <laughs> like to the tower. <laughs> Log comes in, uh, gets you know a couple of chip damage off, protects some damage. But here comes a hog rider and a knight on the left hand side. Uh -oh. Knight and Mega Minion gonna try to stop this, but this hog rider is not gonna be denied. Wow. Two shots, and once again, he's already got five shots off just on the hog riders. Hog wild on the left side tower. Lou Ponji is in a lot of trouble as Quiet what gets a tornado right onto the top right side of his tower. Some stabs in there from the goblins and a little bit of a sloppy play. That almost uh, put Lupanji back ahead in damage. Not quite just yet, though. No, cannon card on the left hand side from Lupanji. Gonna easily clear out this ice wizard. Here comes the knight. Here comes the goblin gang on the left hand side. He's gotta throw out the log, but he's not doing it yet. Goblin barrel coming out on the backhand side, but beautiful the cannon card locks. The cannon card's on the left side tower and quiet gets taken downtown. 417 as he goes on the counter attack to try to reclaim the lead in this game. Log rolling those troops back, but the cannon card's not gonna get the lock. Looks like quiet is awfully close. They're locked in the grippling battle for death and destruction. 417 remains on Quiet's tower as Upanji has the initiative to attack next. Oh, barrel on the left hand side, gonna easily get locked down. A poison coming in. It's not enough though. Upanji uh, rolls the lock, can that get there? I think this might actually go to overtime. 